Hey, so, so I'm like a very open, honest person about like all my, like, whatever. Um, y'all know I've been, <laughs> I've been talking about like, I've been like manic the whole time. You can even tell in my videos, I've said some stuff that wasn't right. Like I said, safety skirt when I meant safety shorts. And I said, girl, when I meant boy. And I've said like, I don't know, I've messed up some stuff. <laughs> I was even looking at some videos I made and didn't post and I'm like that didn't make sense and I don't even think I'm gonna post some of that stuff because some of the stuff was like it made me sound really bad and I'm like that's not even what I meant to say that's not even what happened that I'm, I'm like I'm not gonna post that um but yeah <laughs> um so my mental health isn't I'm trying to deal with it on my own and sometimes you need more help than that so <laughs> I may, as much as I've uh, wanted to, I'm starting to cry. I've been trying to like deal with it on my own and um, like getting help with uh, like therapy and um, my doctor, like changing my medicine and everything. Um, I don't know. I always just feel like super guilty from having to... Uh, um, as expensive as it is to go to like inpatient and um I remember like getting bullied with people calling me crazy and stuff but I don't know I may have to go back um so I wanted to do that Valentine's Day thing and I may not be able to do that um, I may be in the hospital. <laughs> Hopefully I can do the Valentine's thing later or something. I'll just like, I may not do a live, but I'll um, try to debut my songs. <laughs> and you'll be like, why is she doing this like way after Valentine's Day? <laughs> um, it's a constant tr struggle. Uh. my brain keeps telling me things that aren't my own thoughts it's just like telling me to like hurt people and um to hurt myself and I don't want to do those things You're like so I just I just have to admit that I need help and get help and I've been trying to in different ways but sometimes I just <sighs> I don't know I've been talking to my parents and I've been trying to be as open about it as, as I can but sometimes I try not to say anything because I just feel I feel like I'm just super expensive and like I'm not worth it like because I cost like all the therapy and all like the like I just I just feel like I'm a waste of like everything like the time and money and effort and like I don't know I just I always have to remind myself that I'm worth it and like people different people just need different things and different different help and I just happen to I don't know, costs more money than other people for my mental health and I've pro this this would probably be like the seventeenth time. Wait, I don't, I don't know, I lost count. I've I've been inpatient at least like fifteen times, I guess. Um, since I was diagnosed. I don't know, it's it's been over ten years and it it helps um i every time i go in i learn a lot and i get better and i definitely recommend it to people if uh if that's what you need it it definitely helps and you have to be like open for what they're teaching and it's um um some people come in and they're just like super grumpy and they're like i don't need to be here i don't need to be here blah 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 but you really like learn a lot um, from other people's experiences and it's like it's very eye-opening because there's like a wide 
array of people and you're like you you end up being like very grateful for your own like I don't know it's just it's crazy because you see I've met so many people I've said this before how I've um learned a lot about different um like mental health like I've I've met people from different walks of life with um PTSD I also forgot I even have a best friend who used to have multiple personalities I didn't meet him in um in um one of these but I could tell that that's what he had because I was in I've been in so many um of these of of those and I was just like I because my my other friend like because I just knew I'd, I'd, I'd like met people who had like some people like research these kinds of things. But I like knew people with who who had like experience like there's, it's different when you have like a theoretical kind of like you you like when you've researched things. But when you like know people and they, like how they act and like it's it's different. Like I I met so many people. Like I said, it was like seventeen times or whatever. <laughs> or like it's I don't even like I said it's just been more than that. So like PTSD, ADD, ADHD, more bipolar people like type one, type two, like me. I'm type one, but yeah. And then um, I'm type one with like very um, t um manic tendencies. Um. Uh. This last time was a mixed episode, so it was like more. It was depressed in in like December in like December, January, now it's like more mania, like in February, but, um, but yeah, and what is it? I don't know if I've met a schizophrenic person, but there's also, there's also a thing when you're in the hospital, you don't have to say what you have, so I'm sure I've met schizophrenic people who just didn't say what they had, and there's like other, there's many other things, um, and they, they also, they'll just teach you while you're in the hospital, they teach you about different mental health issues so even if there's no one there who has it or won't say that they have it because they don't have to um you learn what those illnesses are and I think I have more than just bipolar type one but it like it doesn't matter because as long as you're taking medicine that helps you to live a healthy life then like names don't matter the names only help you to like categorize like what just to live it, it just doesn't matter but, um, yeah, so, um, I don't know, but, but I just want, like, for anyone out there, I'm, uh, anyone out there who's dealing with, like, a mental issue, please don't feel guilty about it. Like, you're not alone. Um, there's so many people out there who keep it hidden and, um, there's like, it's, I mean, nowadays it's more, it's more open, but I know for me, I dealt with it since the fifth grade and I've been bullied for it since the fifth grade. <laughs> and, um, so that was back in like, for me, that was like 2007 and, um, I was always called crazy and that's like what we call trigger words. And, um, despite like th that's in addition to being called um, the C word and the C word and the N word. So I just been bullied all around. Um, but that, that doesn't have to do with, um, those are just more trigger words. There's, those are like things, there's like terminology that you learn and, um, but there's these things called coping mechanisms. Like for me, literally everything artistic. So like when I feel like suicidal and homicidal thoughts, I write screenplays. Because I'm not going to go around, mm, I'm not going to say the word, <laughs> but I'm not going to go around like doing those things. So I just write like fight scenes where I'm like, hey, let's just like beat people up. Like, um, <laughs> so I'm like, let's not, I'm not going to like go around like actually like, rah. but, um, <laughs> so that's what I do. And, um, but sometimes when like, that's not enough, I'm just like, <laughs> let me go talk to somebody and change my medicine. Um, and like. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing with, like, my my screenplay, and I'm just like, this isn't enough, so now I need to, yeah, but, um, th there's, there's more, but I, I should go, so, um, so out, love you guys, and you can do it, um, take care of your mental health, love you, bye.